Hello students, today I will be talking about medical parasitology topics. So here we have uh, the first topic that is malaria. So malaria is a parasitic infection caused by a parasite which is named as plasmodium species. So we have many plasmodium species which can lead to malarial infection. This parasite comes under protozoan category under sporozoans. So it's a plasmodium species belong to sporozoa under protozoan category in parasitology. Now this malarial parasite completes its life cycle in two different hosts. One is a definitive host, other one is intermediate host. Definitive host is where the parasite completes its sexual life cycle, that is sporogony, that is named as sporogony. That happens in female anophilus mosquito species. Sexual life cycle, which is termed as schizogony of malarial parasite, happens in intermediate host, which is human being. Human being or man is the definite intermediate host. If you see the history, the discovery of malarial parasite was done by Charles Louis Alphonse Laveran and discovery that mosquitoes transmit malarial parasite was by Donald Rose. Both of them um, received Nobel Prize for their discoveries. Coming to the parasite, Plasmodium, we have five species. Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium malariae, Plasmodium ovae and Plasmodium nolesi. Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium falciparum are the most common species and they lead to tertian type of malaria. Now what is tertian malaria? It is a malaria where the recurrence or the symptoms repeats after every third day that is after 48 hours. So if it is uh, happening after 48 hours we call it as tertian type of malaria. Now in case of tertian malaria we see mainly two species that is Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium falciparum. But in Plasmodium falciparum, you call it as malignant tertian malaria as they, it, it can lead to many complications. Now Plasmodium malariae, Plasmodium ovale, less seen species in our country, it leads to different types of infection like uh, Plasmodium malariae leads to benign quartan malaria where the symptoms happens every fourth day that is after 72 hours. Plasmodium ovale uh, leads to tertian malaria. Plasmodium noelacy not yet reported from our country, it leads to recurrence every day that is every 24 hours. Coming to the life cycle of the parasite, it happens in two hosts. As we discussed earlier, it happens in two hosts. We will start with the human cycle. In human being, which form of the parasite enter? That is sporozoid stage. Sporozoid stage of the plasmodium enter into human being. So we can call the sporozoid stage as infective form of the parasite. Now this infective form comes from the salivary gland of the definitive host that is our female anophilus mosquito. So when the mosquito bites, the sporozoid stage of the parasite enter into human body. There it undergo three different stages. These are termed as pre-erythrocytic schizogony, erythrocytic schizogony and gametogony. Now what is the difference? Pre-erythrocytic schizogony happens in liver that is before it enter into RBC or erythrocytes. Then we have erythrocytic schizogony and gametogony. So this is a sexual life cycle of the parasite. We will see each stage one by one. The first stage pre-erythrocytic schizogony. This happens when the parasite enter into liver and this is within 30 minutes after you get the mosquito bite. So when the mosquito bite the sporozoids which are motile enter into the liver and these spindle shaped sporozoids become rounded. That stage is called as trophozoid. Now this trophozoid is a feeding stage. It undergo the life cycle that is called as schizogony. Now this is happening before entering into RBC. So we can call it as pre-erythrocytic schizogony. What is the result of pre-erythrocytic schizogony? Merozoids are formed. Now when the schizone rupture, these merozoids are released which can attack RBC. The whole thing takes place within 5 to 15 days. Pre-erythrocytic schizogony uh, happens within 5 to 15 days. Now in case of plasmodium vivax or plasmodium ovate species, we see another form that is hypnozoids. These hypnozoids are present in the liver. They remain in the liver and they can attack RBC or they can get activated later. What will happen? It will lead to relapse of malaria. So there are only two species which can lead to this relapse. We call it as plus exoerythrocytic schizogony. 
एक्सो एरिथ्रोसाइटिक स्टेज सीन ओनली इन प्लास्मोडियम वाइवैक्स और प्लास्मोडियम ओवेल कमिंग टू द सेकेंड स्टेज वॉट हैपन्स टू दोस मीरोजोइट्स विच आर कमिंग आउट ऑफ प्री एरिथ्रोसाइटिक शाइजोट इट एंडर इन टू एरिथ्रोसाइटिक शाइजोगनी एरिथ्रोसाइटिक शाइजोगनी हैपन्स इन आर बी सी वेयर द मीरोजोइट अटैक आर बी सी नाउ द पैरासाइट एंडर इन टू आर बी सी थ्रू द रिसेप्टर्स प्रसेंट ऑन दिट दैट इज ग्लाइकोफोरिन एंड थ्रू एंडोसाइटोसिस इट एंडर इन साइड द आर बी सी नाउ दिस पीय शेप मीरोजोइट्स आर राउंड अप एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म इन Now these trophozoites are called as early trophozoite. It got a particular structure. It is called as annular or signet ring structure. Why? It look like a signet ring with a central vacuole, peripheral thin rim of cytoplasm with a nucleus. So it is exactly like a signet ring. So you call this early trophozoite stage as ring form. Now this ring form is the first form which can be demonstrable in peripheral blood. So what is that pre patent period pre patent period is the time taken for the parasite to appear in the sample after the entry into the host here in case of plasmodium vivax you see the whole uh, time taken is 8 days but in case of plasmodium falciparum it's only 5 days so pre patent period is the time taken by the parasite to appear in the peripheral blood which we can demonstrate so that will help us in diagnosis of the infection so that can happen only after 8 days in case of vivax or uh, after 5 days in case of plasmodium falciparum coming to the continuation of this erythrocytic schizogony what will happen after the formation of early ring stage the early during this early ring stage formation the plasmodium feeds on hemoglobin and this undigested product forms a hemozoin pigment so this hemozoin pigment which are released during the infection can be detected and we can differentiate plasmodium falciparum and plasmodium vivax in the form how looking at the color morous dot or which are brown and black are seen if the rbc is infected with plasmodium falciparum in case of uh, plasmodium vivax it will be yellowish brown and it will be numerous in number which are termed as schaffner's dot so presence of morous dot indicate the presence of plasmodium falciparum and presence of schaffner's dot indicate plasmodium vivax infection now what will happen to the ring stage this early ring stage will become late trophozoite stage so previously we had early trophozoite stage now it will become late trophozoite now it will undergo the schizone that is schizogony erythrocytic schizogony so previously to us um, pre erythrocytic schizogony now it is erythrocytic schizogony it will lead to compact where there is no vacuole now pigments are scattered and large nucleus at the periphery so after this what happens is presence of mirozoids so er erythrocytic schizogony otherwise called as mirogony will lead to formation of around 6 to 30 mirozoids then what will happen in erythrocytic schizogony these rbcs mature and what it contains all those mirozoids it comes out along with malarial pigment and toxin which will lead to malarial paroxysm Mal malarial paroxysm is the fever where patient develop fever when the mirozoids invade new rbc or when it breaks the rbc and come out so that take place after 3 days or 48 hours that's why you get fever every third day in case of plasmodium falciparum and vivax incubation period of plasmodium falciparum the time taken after the entry of sporozoids till it becomes uh, uh, it start the infection or the symptom it is around 12 days in case of plasmodium vivax it is 14 days but only the early ring stage can be demonstrable in case of plasmodium falciparum later stages of plasmodium falciparum happens in the capillaries of brain internal organs therefore only ring form can be detected in the peripheral blood Okay so I'll be continuing malaria chapter in the next video thank you